Yo, what about Fistex Fem? I am an ACE certified personal trainer. So there's a lot of rumors going around. These rumors are saying that changing your nutrition can actually impact your mental health. And today we're going to be going over what the science says on that. Some of the current research. So can changing your nutrition actually impact your mental health? Let's see. So let's start off with a basic anatomy lesson. First things first. Serotonin is the chemical, the neurotransmitter that is responsible for our sense of well-being. Also plays a role in our being able to focus. Now, according to Harvard University, 95% of serotonin is produced in the gut. Not in the brain, in the gut. Furthermore, dopamine, the chemical, the neurotransmitter that is responsible for our, it's called the happy chemical, but also plays a big role in motivation, and it's also the reward chemical after we do something, that we get that sense of reward. 50% of it is produced in the gut. Furthermore, over 30 neurotransmitters, these are things that impact our mood, are produced in the gut. Now, when you consume things like white bread or fine grains or sugars, like things that are high in white sugar, not sugar from fruits, that's a different story, like white refined sugars or even brown sugar. What this does is alters your gut bacteria and your gut bacteria play a major role in your body's ability to perform these chemicals that are responsible for your sense of well-being and your ability to focus and concentrate and even sleep. So these literally all take away, they hinder your ability to do all the things that you want to do. And furthermore, there's certain things like white bread, they stick to the lining of your gut, literally, which is just nasty and it hinders your ability to do all the things that you want to do. So now let's crack apart um, a study. So, a Western diet, which is the diet that most Americans eat, high sugars, a lot of artificial sweeteners, a lot of refined grains, um, like white flour, and you know, trans fat, saturated fat, was associated with a 41% increased risk in depression. 41%. That is incredibly high. Furthermore, simply eating more fruits and vegetables has shown to decrease depressive symptoms by, guess how much, 19 to 23%. That's simply eating just more fruits and vegetables. Another thing is supplementing vitamins and minerals, although supplements is not the best way to get your vitamins and minerals, but specific supplementation has shown to significantly reduce depressive symptoms in over 13 studies involving more than 1,200 individuals. That is incredible. Furthermore, coming out of the University of Canterbury, there have been over 20 studies documenting the benefits of having micronutrients. And in the long run, consuming the proper micronutrients in the right amounts has shown a higher efficacy, has shown a better success rate than most of the modern medications that many psychiatrists are prescribing today. So, to conclude, I ask you, do you think altering your diet plays a role in mental health? And if you think it does, I invite you to do a three-day challenge where you eat clean, no sugars, no sodas, not even white bread, nothing with white flour. A lot of fruits, a lot of vegetables, olive oil, and a lot of nuts and legumes and seeds. Eat that for three days and just see how you feel by the end of the third day. With that, I hope you all have a great, phenomenal day. If you'd like this content to be shared with more people, Please drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, drop a comment, and share with the buddy. Remember, sp- if you spread a smile, you can change the world. So spread some smiles and light up the world. Peace out.